Okay, so one rod I'm using is a Stella 4000. I'm running 30 pound braid on this purely for the fact that in Kinapru here, the snapper run you into the lines. And it's happened a few times, so I'm running a Stella 4000 with a new Shimano Diluna rod with 30 pound 832 braid. So that's an eight strand braid. The rig I'm going to use on this is a Blackmagic 8 baro. Why I like them is they are a massive 8 baro recurve hook and also like I said in past vlogs they have high UV content so fish see UV or UV light so I like the Blackmagic rigs. So they come already pre-rigged with a swivel on top and with the line what I do is a straight uni knot but with the uni knot I'll double up the braid and do a uni knot with double the braid so uni knot around make a big loop I'll probably do a video on a better tutorial on how to do the uni knot but at the moment we're going to just show you the basics do that up nice and tight pull on that and then you've got basically three tag ends Shimano braid cutters. These things are the best split ring ones on the market. They've been pretty good actually. Next thing is just undo it. Uh, sinkers too. Uh, for Tasman Bay and down here, I like to use, uh, or we like to use, three ounce. So it seems quite big, but what you can do is cast it quite away, pull in the tension, and have it sitting nice off up off the bottom. So same thing there. Three ounce sinker on the bottom. Uni knot to put that on. Two, three, you don't have to worry about too much, doesn't matter if you lose the sinker. Chop off the tag ends. The tag ends are terrible, they get caught on weed and that. And then that is how I'll rig it. And I don't even run uh, leaders anymore, like a shock leader, because the knots seem to get sn snagged in your eyes when you're casting. So straight braid to the trace and it seems to have worked we've got some good snapper on them next thing is two pillies like I said before chop on an angle I like a bit more guts there two of them like so and then straight down through the head next one straight down through the head and that'll hold on nice and tight you got heaps of hook exposed you got a bit of flash there the snapper will come up and woof that down. So that is basically how we set up the flasher rig or black magic flasher rigs. Generally we'll, I'll use an eight bar row and then the other rig will be a four bar row. But either way it seems to work real good.